there are four general types of atrial tachyarrhythmias, specifically those that arise from sites that are not sinus. I covered these in my video on focal atrial tachycardias, but like I was saying, the four general types of tachyarrhythmias are atrial fibrillation, focal atrial tachycardia, multifocal atrial tachycardia, and atrial flutter. These are the ones that I often reference when teaching medical interns or students, but I'm sure there's more. But I like to stick to these ones since their electrical etiologies within the atria reflect common patterns resulting in their arrhythmias. So in atrial fibrillation, we have this haphazard baseline, where it's difficult to tell one true P wave from another. This is the result of erratic atrial depolarization occurring at multiple different atrial ectopic sites almost simultaneously which translates to this irregularly irregular pattern. In cases of focal atrial tachycardias, the rhythm is often regular and P waves are identical because of electricity originating from a single atrial focus. That means electricity comes from a site that is not sinus or from the SA node, but often conducts one-to-one -one down to the ventricles, resulting in a regular rhythm. This is in contrast to multifocal atrial tachycardias that originate from multiple atrial foci, as evident in the presence of P waves with different morphologies. This also can be reflected in the ventricular rate as irregular R to R intervals and an irregular rhythm. And finally, in atrial flutter, we see this classic sawtooth baseline, which is the result of a macro reentry circuit. You could have similar reentry circuits in cases of focal atrial tachycardias, but those occur at a much smaller scale, to the point that we almost just say or classify those ectopic foci as a single atrial focus. In atrial flutter, these reentry circuits are typically much larger and is reflected here as P waves conducting at a rate of approximately 300 beats per minute, making this baseline look almost like teeth on a saw. And every now and then, you'll get one of these P waves being conducted down to the ventricles seen here as a QRS complex. These are the four general types of atrial tachyarrhythmias, where atrial fibrillation results from erratic atrial depolarization from different ectopic sites occurring almost simultaneously. Focal atrial tachycardias are the result of a single ectopic atrial focus. Multifocal atrial tachycardias occur because of depolarization from multiple ectopic sites and atrial flutter occurs because of ectopic macro reentry circuits.